Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Chris Irving from Knoxville, Tennessee, and this is Kratom Kingdom. Today I wanted to talk to you about something pretty cool. I met this guy on Facebook, go figure, and he's a Kratom distributor. He normally deals in large quantities of Kratom, um, you know, like a ton or a thousand kilos. So, but after, t so I was going to start my own Kratom dist distribution out of America. And I was going to buy from him because he has amazing prices for the amounts of, for the quantities that he's selling. And he has amazing Kratom. The Kratom I taste tested, his red was sticky. It was so good. I mean, it was, it was moist. It was like a moist, you could still feel all the, all the, um, oh God damn, what are they called? All the alkaloids in it. And the green, the green was the brightest green Kratom I have ever seen. And the yellow, the yellow looked yellow. I mean, you could tell you could tell what color these streams were just by looking at them. You didn't have to read the little labels on them. And um, the white was white. So, and when I took it, a sip of the crab, it was like immediately it hit me like, whoa, this is like a bombshell. I thought it was because I hadn't had crab in a while, but it was because it was just such quality crab. He, it's, it's a very small farm. It's him, his daughter, his son, and his wife. And they grow out into their orchard. And they hand pluck the leaves at the perfect time of the year. They wait till the, till the leaves or the veins are appropriate color. They feel the leaves to make sure they're still moist. And, and they pinch the leaves at the right spot so a new leaf will grow so that the trees aren't dying. <laughs> because they're not in the business of killing trees. And and then they have this huge area that they lay tarps out and they lay all the leaf out on the dry, that they hand picked out on this tarp and they dry it under the sun for 36 hours. So it's it's not super dry because it was so, it's such a wet kratom. Um, so it, it took a while for it to dry, but they take it and then they run it through a powder mill, which grinds it up into a fine powder, which is what we, the tea users, use to make our tea with. And he also has another setting on it where he can set it and make it into a crushed leaf to where you still get the leaves and the stems and the seeds and the... And it's, it's, like, a, it's like if you took a handful of dried leaves and just crunched it up in your hand and, you, and then you've got a handful of crushed leaves. Some people prefer that on their tea because they they like a loose leaf tea, and that's what this is. It's basically like a loose leaf tea. And but I'm telling you, the alkaloids and this guy's kratom is through the roof. I was feeling no pain at all, and I had I had just gotten done exercising from physical therapy, and I was hurting. My knees hurt, my back hurt, and I took one cup of tea of that, and I was like, wah! I was like ready to do physical therapy all over again and that never happens plus the cool thing was was the euphoria was intense I mean I just wanted to crawl up in a little ball on my couch and watch Discovery Channel all day and that's probably what I ended up doing <clears throat> because it was I mean it was it was literally like having a a morphine pill that's how much the alkaloids actually work in this and I, did, I didn't use very much lime or lemon in it. I, I used a little, because I didn't have that much. I only had a lime or a lemon. I had one lemon left. So I cut it in half and squeezed a little bit of it on there and I saved it for the next one because I didn't want to use it all in one batch in one cup of tea and added a little pinch of taurine to it or, or turmeric to it. <coughs> and that, again, that what that does is that makes the the length of the euphoria last longer it's a it's a potentiator but it lasts longer and taurine which for a long time was has been quoted as being called goat sperm because of the name taurine but really it's not it's it's just another alkaloid that our body uses it's like another stimulant and they put it in energy drinks like red bull monster if you look at the top around the corner, it says taurine, guarana, vitamin B12 shots, and caffeine. And so I, I've added every single one of those topics to my kratom. 
even down to coffee grounds. I sometimes I'll put coffee grounds in my where's my tea? I'll put coffee grounds in my tea just to give me that little extra energy. It's like if it's early in the morning and I haven't slept much. Tonight I am going to sleep like a baby because I didn't sleep at all last night. So I am going to sleep like a baby tonight. <clears throat> so I'm going to post all this guy's name and information on on the after the video. You can pause it and it's got his email, it's got his Facebook account, it's got his it's got his phone, he's got everything. Because he's a serious businessman and he's seriously all in when it comes to Kratom. And he's he's third or fourth generation Kratom far farmer. So he's his family has been into Kratom since since they've been using it in the fields to chew the leaves. He um his name is Jeff Jeffrey and he's a really good guy. His name is Jeffrey Jeffrey, which is kind of strange. His first name and his last name are the same thing. I didn't get it, but different strokes, different to different continents. <clears throat> and you have to remember the time difference there. So when it's 12 p.m. here, it's 12 midnight there. But he's always on Facebook. You can always contact him on Facebook. And he prefers, you know, a, a thousand kilo order, but he'll take a a one kilo order and charge you 60 bucks 60 bucks for a kilo of this stuff is like magic it's like gold and you will take a lot less you it'll last a lot longer because you'll lose a lot less less of it you won't need as much of it because it's it's icky it's got the icky icky in it it's it's moist and it's got all those alkaloids just pouring out of it just just waiting for your brain to absorb it and suck it in <clears throat> so I would say Jeffrey Mangda is who I'm going to be buying my Kratom from from now on and it's going to take a little it does take a little while for delivery because it's coming from Indonesia but he pays for the shipping you know he said 60 bucks for for a kilo that's 2.2 pounds for 60 bucks free shipping all the way from Indonesia and you're supporting a local farmer who is a great guy for my for this channel he was going to send me just free free crowd of and I, I couldn't accept it because he's poor you know i mean he's a lot more poor than i am so he he I, if i can't pay for it i didn't want to get any um because he thought wow i could use your youtube channel as a advertisement for my kratom and then yeah yeah i guess so but i've only got 200 subscribers when i get to 200,000 subscribers then maybe that might mean something but right now, it's I'm only talking to people who are serious Kratom users and to people who who know you get what you pay for. And I mean, a sixty dollar kilo is high since you can get get it for fifty other places. <coughs> you can get a four way kilo from Amazing Botanicals for one hundred and ten dollars. So I mean, that's and plus you gotta add shipping onto it. So this guy has got the the best Kratom I would I would beg you to trust just try his Kratom. You can see what real Kratom tastes like. And see what real Kratom feels like. If you've got a tolerance built up that tolerance is through the wind because this Kratom will knock it out of the park. Anyway, I am going to go make another cup of Kratom for my dinner time medicine, and I hope you guys had, what is today? Uh, today's Monday. Oh, I hope you had an amazing weekend. We have a good Tuesday. Peace out, people.